Increases chance of being attacked. A higher chance to be attacked. Higher chance to be attacked. We have two mobs. And we also have a Tingyun that's low health. Will they hit me? Hello, Internet. Today, we feature another cute and funny character. We got Clara this time. And if you are not aware, we got Lynx as a newer character. And she is supposed to increase the aggro on, like, whoever she targets. Clara does that on her ult as well. And Marsh does it with her skill as well. Just to get a quick look at the stats, it's really nothing too good. Like, micro damage. If I get 40 more, I'd be a bit happier. But, well, it is what it is. I can't really get more of them. But, yeah, I do have decent attack, though. That's about it. So, we are going to pitch this perfect team where all the aggro value could be channeled to Clara, right? So, that you're going to be only his Clara. Can we prevent the enemy from hitting Tingyun? Tingyun is literally the best preservation character ever with infinite aggro, so yeah. If I'm using these three characters to just channel all my aggro value to Clara and she still doesn't get hit and Tingyun gets hit, I'm going to be very confused. But here we go. The idea is like this. We're gonna just instantly get all my ults off and Clara would have a higher chance to be hit from her ult. Now, I would use my E, but you know what? I am gonna use my E. So can I not have Tingyun be hit? Okay, that's the first one. That, that's success right there. Right, this will be an AoE. That's not much we can do. So yeah, take that damage. Dude. Dude, Clara's damage output, man. Sheesh. Now we have Lynx. Last time I tried with Blade, Blade didn't really even get hit that much. So this time, what if it's Clara on her ulti? We boost her aggro with this. And on top of that, we have March 7th. Topping it off with yet another aggro value increase. Look at the amount of it I have. Increases chance of being attacked. A higher chance to be attacked. And higher chance to be attacked. I swear to Jesus. First of all, let's try and get rid of the AoE stuff. So this one's just AoE. We're gonna get rid of the fish. This fish will be AoEing me. Not much I can do. So yeah, my ulti will get hit no matter what. And I am questioning how does this disciple guy work? Because his attack is multi-target, but I don't know if like if it's possible for Clara to just tank all of that multi-hit. Here comes the guy. And yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if we're that quick to blame the aggro value. That may maybe that's just how the skill works. Maybe that is like just a glorified AoE that happens in frames. I, I don't know what I mean to talk about, but that right there is bullshit. I'm not sure because I'm playing, but in the edit, you'll see. I don't think Clara got hit at all. Or if she did, it was only at one time versus Lynx's four hits. Oh, that's a perfect start, dude. Right, we're gonna go with Clara's skill here. Now, will you hit me? You should do a single target here. Oh, actually not. Not quite yet. This is the single target, but you are hitting Clara. Okay. This is what I kind of felt would have happened with my, you know, Lynx with Blade parry, but I guess you need three sources of increased hit chance in order for the enemy to really attack you, huh? Right, we are refreshing everything again. Let's get Clara's ulti off, and then we'll have Lynx's skill with March's skill. Get that aggro value update. And here we go. This enemy should hit me with another single target here and bang thank you gosh dude the fact that you did not hit tingin so far is unbelievable that never ever happens right at this point i think we are good let me just hit you and get the final bit of uh, buff here and you should die to some debuff there we go the bleed man 14 000. right here's the ultimate fight though well, it's not really ultimate we're gonna fight yachi later because they have the swords i'm wondering if four of the swords could just all hit clara or not we'll find out right here comes the first hit it is on clara that is beautiful okay dude this it's actually pretty consistent now of course if it's aoe not much we can do but at least yeah that, that exactly that at least when i have literally three times more the probability of this little cutie to be punched in the face surely you guys punch her in the face all right we're gonna reapply all of the, our aggro stuff just to be absolutely sure get all that aggro out man i'm not taking any chances for a pinion to be hit then go with the freaking skill here right here comes this this is kind of like yeah i don't know how to feel about that one is that supposed to be aoe i don't think it's aoe so if it's a targetable attack does that mean clash should take all of it i'm not sure i'm I'm just gonna assume it's AoE. I don't even know, dude. But for sure, any single target attack has to go on Clara, or else it just makes no sense, dude. And yes, I should have everything still up, but only one more turn of Link's disposal. Let's reset that. And here we go. They should start hitting me a bunch, with especially the mob soon. Let me use my skill right here. You're gonna counter me, and I'm gonna counter your counter. <laughs> I th always thought it was like a funny mechanic. Right, there should be a single target. Well, after this, it would be. Yes, hit the little. Beauty in the red did. That's probably not even of age. We all like punching kids. We have two mobs, and we also have a Tingyun that's low health. A Tingyun at low health is said to have like about 8,000 aggro value. So I don't know, dude. Will they hit me? No! 
No way. No way that just happened, dude. Tinian, man. You just want to die that much? The turn where she had every aggro value buff possible? The one who got hit is a low health Tinian, dude. This game makes total sense. Right, here comes. Everyone should be waking up now. This should be. Uh, yeah, there we go. That, that makes total sense. Right, we'll go for the ulti now. And you should do an AoE. And after this, Bronya's here to sub should wake up here. This should be a stab onto the child. Beautiful. A whole war general stabbing a kid with a big ass lance that's literally longer than her whole body. But we should be done here. We're gonna stab. Alright, we're gonna reinforce. We're gonna counter me and I'm gonna counter you back. Ha, <laughs> how stab for Uno reversed it. Get that shield up and you should stab someone. And thank you for stabbing the kid in red. And just like that, look at the damage as well, man. We cleared this in no time. Use our E right here. That should be the end. Oh yeah, man. Feels good. To just stand there, get punched. And Uno reverse them back until they die. Right, next up, we're gonna try and fight Yancheng. He has a bunch of mobs with the swords and everything, right? If I can convince just one wave of which all the swords target Clara, I'm gonna say it. Aggro value is not a scam, and Tingyun actually isn't the most hittable character in the whole game. No, I know Yancheng was short, but dang, he's like really short. But here we go. Like, dude, did you see Smaro's hand? He had to, like, actually tilt it so, so downward. Right, same thing now. We're gonna get Clara everything. We should definitely see a bigger difference here. These two horses, they are mostly single target attackers. Right, here we go. Everything's being put on now. Right, the first hit. Who does it go to? Okay, all right. It's Clara, dude. The other guy. Oh, okay. Let's go, man. I actually think this is consistent now. And speaking of which, you know, memes aside, yeah, they're all targeting me. Memes aside of me trying to prove that Agravello doesn't work, this team kind of works. If you're a Clara, I mean, you got a really good Clara, dude. This team would just like feed the enemy with damage, man. We'll do a basic here. Right, again, hitting with the Clara. That's beautiful. We have the ult again. Look at how good she would be if every turn we can make the enemy hit Clara. But therein lies the challenge. They usually don't. But for now, they look like they do. I'm gonna get here more aggro, dude. You're gonna shoot me now. Bang, that does that should have debuffed me. I'm not sure how I resisted with no ER. I think she does get easy resistance from her trace though, but not too much. But that's okay. We have more cleansers than we have height, dude. Right, you'll go for the AoE. We are fine, but that that's not really an AoE. That's more like a multi-target hit. They still target a Clara, dude. Right, here we go with Clara again. We have another ult. This is what happens if the enemy just keeps hitting her, man. Right, you're gonna hit me again. Oh yeah, that's right. One more. And ah, ah, dude. I knew this was gonna happen. Although I have pretty much three increased aggro on her, doesn't matter. You randomly get a stray hit on March, dude. Charge up everything back up, and will you be hitting Clara or not? And, yep, yeah. oh yeah. Right, another step, somehow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure two of the times March got hit. It's also three target hits. Okay, Jason allies also got attacked. Meaning that all three of us got attacked, except Clara did. We're gonna soon have it. A character with the most aggro in the game. A Tingyun at low health. The moment she drops to like half health, about that range, somehow she becomes the most targetable character of all time. And here we go. The two horses about to go. Wake up, dude. What are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, there we go. The most targeted character of all time. Just a low health thing in. But, you know, of course, we do have a stray sometime. But, yeah, it's it's not game ending. We definitely can't just have Clara be the only one getting hit. No matter what we do, I think. Which is still kind of weird. I have three times more aggro value, at least. I don't even, like, know the calculations, but it's all about that amount. It's a lot, dude. Here we go. We're charging everything on Clara. Clara has her own ult up. So, yep, the chances of you being targeted should be high. We are countering you a bunch. Here comes the swords. Bang, that's one. Okay. And oh, oh yeah, dude. Low health tingered is the true preservation character, guys. Well, I guess we have to use the heal here. We'll get our E on Clara, reset everything for one more time. And let's see who they're gonna hit, dude. Do a basic here. And then we'll use her all. This is perfect. I don't want to kill the swords too quickly. I literally want to see if the swords will target anyone else, dude. And boom, that's Clara. That's beautiful. And here comes Yancheng. Don't think you can do much to me, but I am pretty sure that was targeted towards everyone by Clara, but I could be wrong. Right, here comes the sword. Hits Clara, dude. That's beautiful. Right, I think the swords will die soon. Oh, or I'll just use my ult right here, and let's see who Yancheng hits now, and... Bang, that is an AoE, but this time, uh, that's not quite an AoE, it's like a multi-target hit. Well, yeah, they did target, um, Clara, but not at this moment, though. Somehow it's March, but I guess, okay, March is like preservation, I get that, right? But Ting Yun getting hit is just too much bullshit for me. Right, we'll murder the trotter, and, well, speak of the devil, Ting Yun gets hit, man. He will heal, I mean, we'll get the aggro increase onto Clara one more time, we'll cleanse everything. I just realized, yeah, she's about to out anyway, so all of these aggro probably doesn't matter. Right, here it comes, the ult goes down, I shouldn't die, my whole team has some bulk on them. Oh, yeah, we're good, dude. 
we will charge that little bit of Clara all because I can. I would say for sure, you can see this, right? Clara's weakness right now, which would actually be solved when Topaz and Nami comes out, is when she's against just one single enemy. But, you know, at least at least Anshik's hitting her, though. Blessing in disguise. And here comes the sword again. This is when Clara pops off. Yeah, there we go. Look at the amount of hits I'm doing, dude. But if it's just Yanching alone, I'll actually struggle a little bit. Right, we gotta reset everything again. So, boom, get that aggro increase. But, dang, they're hitting the other tiny guy. I suppose they kind of look similar. I can accept. It happened again, didn't it? <laughs> They target a march, hits Lynx, hits Ting Yin, Clara's just at the side, chilling with 5,000 aggro value. This game makes no sense, dude. How about these swords? Are we gonna hit a low health Ting Yin, like, apparently just normal? I freaking knew it, dude. What is going on? This is taking a while, because firstly, honestly, my Clara isn't even that good. Right, come on, hit Clara, dude. And a bag. Okay, for the most part, I guess, more often than not, they are hitting Clara. And we should be nearing the end. You're gonna hit me one more time. That will hurt you. Right, again with the Clara hit, that's beautiful, and I think that just ends it, and yep, there we go. With the final E, we are taking care of Yan Cheng, no problem there. But there is a problem, actually. I just didn't feel like Clara got hit as much as she should have. Lynx will increase the aggro value by that 500%. It, it's not actually directly 500%, you gotta plug it into a formula, but 500% is pr a pretty big amount. Add that with March's skill, which is also 500%, add that with Clara's ult alone, there should be no realm where they still pick a Tingyin to hit, when literally I should be three times more likely to be hit, but you know what? That's just links with Clara, I guess. It's still a bit inconsistent. It's a lot more consistent than just having Blade and Lynx. And having Clara, having March with Lynx together, yeah, she does get hit quite a bit. I'll probably say like about 70-80% of the time you will see Clara being hit, but the fact that having three characters with high aggro boosting abilities to just still only get hit 70-80% to 80 of the time kind of means Clara will never actually just always be hit. It's just not possible, right? And that that's kind of a shame, because, you know, you want her to be hit a bunch. But yeah, build-wise, I am on a physical damage orb with a crit rate, chest, attack, brute, attack, everything else. It's not really that good, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, it, it's what I rolled. It's a work in progress. I'm, I'm still waiting for Topaz, and when Topaz comes, I'm gonna have some fun with Clara Topaz. I really, really like her ability, but just, you might as well remove the fact that she increases aggro, because sometimes I just don't feel that happens. And then we got Ting Yun, who's literally the best preservation character of all game. Like, you will be guaranteed at least two to three hits every game, especially when she's in the red. Speaking of which, my Tingyun stats actually cracked. Look at this. But yes, dude, that will be all for today. Jingle's coming soon, so I can't wait for that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Take care.